Welcome back to my channel. This video is from a question of uh, a subscriber um, concerning um, thermometer and this was her question. Um, Hadashi Skincare Organic Beauty asked this question. Hello, uh, good morning ma'am. Can you please make a video on how to in, use thermometer for, for skin and to share with me how to use thermometer because I watch a video. I think basically from what I understood, she was like, I watched a video on it. It was very interesting. I know how to use pH meter very well, but not the thermometer. I think the question was a little shaky, but then I kind of understood that she was just um, wanting to know how to use thermometer basically for skincare products. So, um, I have two thermometers here with me right in front of me. I'm going to show you. But then, thermometer is something that non formulators be like, why do they need thermometer? Because basically, thermometers most of the time is used for health purposes to check the temperature of someone that is sick or not. And um, it was even much more popular during the pandemic where um, we were asked to uh, wait and for our temperature to be checked before we get walk into public places. But then, guess what? Formulators equally use thermometers. And the reason why we use thermometers is the fact that there are some actives, there are some ingredients that we use that are temperature sensitive. What I mean by temperature sensitive is the fact that they don't work at a particular temperature, especially at a higher temperature. Most active ingredients could actually be really, really sensitive to higher temperatures, even your preservative and some maybe beginner from liters or some um, um, people try their hands on little DIYs and working with some few preservatives we now like okay we now it did not come to realization that okay probably that was why that my product grew move even though I added preservative because there are some um, preservatives that don't work at some certain temperature they're not going to preserve your content because that temperature might have killed their activity um, like say range or yeah yeah something like that so i have two popular thermometers here with me and this is the infrared thermometer it has infrared and it is also called a non-contact thermometer with this thermometer you don't have any contact with your formulation whatsoever even if you're checking um the temperature of someone like this you don't Put it on their skin you don't touch them with it just at a particular safe range that is how you get to use this thermometer while this one is the opposite of the infrared thermometer is a contact thermometer now this thermometer needs to get in touch it needs to touch whatever it is it's supposed to read its temperature um so um this thermometer for me um I stopped using it in my formulations because there was something that I noticed. I wouldn't say it was giving me wrong readings. It wasn't giving me wrong readings. But will I use the word it was giving me over readings? In the sense that due to the fact that it has contact, and of course the contact um, could take up to a minute. So it has the high tendency of picking up the temperature of virtually everything, which sounds weird right like what i mean by everything it might pick the temperature of your container it might even pick the temperature of the surface it might pick you understand due to the fact that it's a contact thermometer but this other one is a non-contact thermometer so therefore it just picks up the temperature of the surface therefore that surface basically it's your formulation okay i had to practicalize it because i know maybe speaking about it theoretically might not drive home the message so i had to do a practical video so up next is the practical video please do well subscribe to my youtube channel like my videos share my videos if you can 6k giveaway loading already so thank you so much and hope to see you in another video so bye this is it here this is my base is a uh, it's an order from a customer yeah some people just buy base cream and do their formulation by themselves so this is the um, contact thermometer i'm telling you about and make sure you sterilize it before you use it and this is the on and off button now is a contact now you now see the reason why it is called a contact thermometer now okay i set it on celsius yeah 
So I'm going to put it inside here. Now you need to give it time for it to absorb um, the temperature, for it to be able to read the temperature for you. You don't need to immerse everything though. It's just that this cream bead is kind of much. The most important thing is for the tip to be in there. Yeah. So it's still counting. This is like 60.3 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's increasing. 0 0.8, 61. That's the thing about the contact thermometer. You need to give it time to have contact with whatever it is. Um, you want to read the temperature. Just like the temp just like um the you know, normal medical temperature that when you're checking temperature of the human body, you need to let it sit in either in the mouth or in the armpit for you to get the reading. So the same thing too applies to this contact thermometer. So basically I think it has stopped. It has stopped counting, so I think it has gotten the temperature now from um, what I see is about 62.6 degrees Celsius. Until they stop counting before you know that, yes, you've gotten your reading appropriately. So, this is our temperature of the base cream. Now, this is what our contact thermometer has given us. Now, let's check our infrared, so this is the infrared thermometer. thermometer. Um, I'm taking the reading. Just similar to the contact thermometer, you need to allow it to, to stop counting before you ascertain the temperature. Okay. This is what it gave me, 48.8 degrees Celsius. Now there's a difference, a huge difference of almost 10. Yeah, they're about in between. And the reason is this, your infrared thermometer reads just the surface temperature. Do you understand what the surface temperature is? That's what your infrared thermometer reads. Why this one goes really down, and don't forget, it also picks up even the temperature of the container. Are you seeing? And that's why you see most people tend to prefer to work with the infrared thermometer than the contact thermometer. This one goes deep down. So automatically it's going to pick up the temperature of everything, both the container, <laughs> you understand, um, the temperature of the uh, product itself. So that is why you see a lot of people kind of tend to shy away from this contact thermometer yeah because uh plus or minus yes i'm not saying it's not giving accurate reading but it's just that it's giving extra you know that kind of thing so it's giving you the whole um temperature of everything and then there are certain actives especially your preservative you need a precise temperature um especially a preservative like jamal plus that um, um, uh, its activity uh, range is within 50 degrees Celsius. You understand? Yeah. And um, uh, you might, using this contact thermometer, you might be reading something wrongly. Do you understand? Unlike the Finos ethanol that I love to use, it's about, um, it, it could even work uh, at 85 degrees Celsius. Do you understand? And that's why I stick to my Finos ethanol. You understand? Um, so when you're using a very sensitive, even um, a, a preservative like Optifen is also temperature sensitive. So when you're using ingredients that are temperature sensitive, you need to be very, very, very careful. Honestly speaking, you need to be very careful when you're using the contact thermometer. Um, I would rather recommend the infrared thermometer any day, any time. Do you understand? These are just two small thermometers. There are also big ones, like those ones are industrial thermometers. But then at the end of the day, thermometers uh, still work alike. You understand? They still pick up uh, the temperature of whatever you're using. And that's why you see these days when you look, you hardly see formulators that still use this contact infrared because it's even inconvenient and you need to put it inside your product. So you see, I needed to sterilize this first before I even use it because of the contact so that it doesn't contaminate. You understand? Even though, yes, in the long run, it still has 
this cover like that you can put it but then you see now i have to clean this and still sterilize so but with this all i need to do is just if i don't want to use it for a very long time because it uses battery even this one too uses battery all this small um a battery you can see it here it also uses battery you understand this one too they also use battery do you understand for me this one is much easier to use the infrared one just go in it's digital get your temperature and go out but with this you need to immerse it into whatever so um when you're working with this contact thermometer you cannot check temperature of uh, more than one um yeah what more than one uh, let's say product you're checking the product yeah or more than one formulation rather you understand now for instance i have this i have another one i need to check the temperature now which means i have to have multiples of this contact thermometer that's each um formula has to have his thermometer or her thermometer i don't know it's thermometer okay but with the um, infrared one i can check this one check this one even if i have 10 formulations in front of me i can check after there's no contact at all so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please kindly subscribe to my youtube channel like my videos share my videos if you can let's keep growing let's keep building the community of beauty skincare hair care enthusiasts <music>